So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, this is how you are going to set up uh, a workflow in make.com to create unlimited article, to automate unlimited articles using OpenAI and Stability KI, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is a one-time setup. So you need to come back still when you need to add keywords from your list, suppose your keywords, because when this automation started, so each one of your keyword will go away, uh, uh, you know, as they get generated to your uh, blog. So here, I'm going to show you how you can do that using OpenAI API key. Okay, now let's get started. So here, of course, the first step is we will need to, you know, connect our Google Sheet where we will get out the list of the keywords we want to generate. So here, what we need to select is get a cell. Okay. Now here it will uh, make a connection to your uh, Google Sheet, so you, uh, you just need to uh, give permission to your Google account where your sheet spreadsheet is connected. Now once you're connected, you can uh, easily select this from the list. Okay, select from the list like this, and here you can choose the spreadsheet where you have your keywords. Okay, so here it's the Cape Town keywords right there, and it's always sheet one because you know we are always storing our keyword from sheet one on sheet one only here. So you can see now here the cell it's always a1 so remember that okay and then click okay now next step is we are going to um create an http uh open ai to generate our uh article so in order to do that you have this open ai uh make an api call directly integrated in uh make.com so here create a completion okay so this is a chat completion what you need to do is you have to get an api key from open ai so you you can go there in open ai dashboard and gather your H, uh, api key so it's very easy you just need to go to a platform that openai.com and sign in with your account you need to add a billing payment uh setup and then you will be able to gather to grab your api key so here we click that create connection right there as you can see we need to add our api key which i'm gonna do now so here once you successfully added your api it will be like this okay huh. so use this one create a chat completion so the first option right there and here you will be able to select like uh if you want to use the gpt4 gpt4 oh the latest one uh, or gpt 3.5 so it's up to you so here uh we in order for you to save some you know because it may cost you some uh, money to use uh you know each of these models so if you want to uh you know save some uh if you want to spend a little then you can just use this optimized version gpt 3.5 turbo 16k so you need 16k if you want a long form article okay uh so which i'm going to show you so the max token you can uh, maybe set it to uh 1496 okay like that and here uh you click that add message and you for system uh you add uh a prompt which uh, you can uh, just copy in the description below. So this is the prompt right here. So right here, you can uh, put this simple prompt right here. Uh, you can modify this accordingly if you have a better system prompt, which you can, uh, which you think may write a better article. So for me, it's just a simple one that, uh, you know, it will output you a whatever number of words you want in your article. So it's just, I'm not sure if it's going to output exactly the 2,500 words, but we will try. So now let's paste this uh, prompt. in the system box strike right here okay and now in the message okay you will say here in the message write the article this is the uh, topic keyword right there and now you will map the value from a1 here from the keyword list that you provided here in your google sheet so which you can select from here so you can select that okay now click ok so what will happen if you run this it will create an article right here and now if you want to uh generate an image immediately along with the article because we will be uh, posting this directly to our wordpress so what we will need to do is add another module so here uh you will select the stability ai and you will select this generate an image from text okay so the same thing what you need to do is uh you know add your api key from stability ai you can just google that stability ai api key and you set up your billing uh, account and you will be able to grab your api key just like the one here in open ai okay so in this one uh, we can use the uh, you can uh, select this uh, stable diffusion 1.6 or this one uh, stable diffusion xl 1.0 if you want uh to have a you know a, a better output so you can select this uh stable diffusion xl uh, v1 like that and here you can uh, simply just have 
1024 okay by uh, 1024 okay so that's the minimum image we can have as a featured image uh, okay now here uh, just one image okay in this one in prompt uh, you can ha add in prompt weight in prompt weight you can add one and this is the uh, image that uh, we want uh, the prompt that we want our image okay to be generated so here what we can do is uh, create a realistic photo about and then here you just again same thing you add your keyword right here from the google sheet okay so you click this value right there so now it will generate so let's replace this let's say generate a realistic photo about this one the keyword right here which is the first one this one right here okay now uh, what will happen is it will generate an article once the article is generated it will come here to generate an image okay so that's the third step okay if you want to add a, directly a featured image on your blog post right there so we click OK. So the fourth step, uh, since in our uh, in our prompt that uh, we I showed you earlier, this one right here, we uh, wrote that it should apply markdown formatting all over the article. So markdown means uh, okay, so it will have the uh, HTML formatting, but in order to um, render that into our blog post, we need this module called uh, markdown. Let's say markdown like this markdown to html because what it will produce right here it's just a markdown format so we have to convert that markdown format to html in order for our, our wordpress to read the actual format of the structure of our article so we click that and here uh, we can uh, get the where the source coming from here because we haven't <clears throat> generated this one so we can run this module now so that we will be able to, uh, you know, this one here, we will be able to capture the uh, source of the uh, mapping here. So let's just unlink this so it won't, uh, you know, it won't run an image. Let's just unlink this and let's run this. So now uh, it generated the article. So let's take a look. We have the response right here. So, uh, as you can see, it came from content. As you can see, it has this markdown formatting right there. Okay, so we have to convert that to HTML. So, in this one right here, in this module, we will get the data from uh, the uh, response of this open a API. So, we again connect each of uh, the modules. And now, let's check this. And here, we capture the um, content from the result of this uh, API uh, response. So, message, role, and then this one content right here okay so what we, it will do is it will uh, convert the markdown formatting to html okay now let's click okay the next thing that uh, we will do now is uh, create another module which will process the response of the image right here the data that we will get from here the stability ai generate image api is a, a binary uh, format so what we need here is to uh, upload that directly to our WordPress uh, media. So the next module that we will add is what we call this uh, WordPress. WordPress, we type WordPress and click show more. We have here the create media item right there. Okay, so in the media item, as you can see, it can detect exactly how what stability AI will output. So you can leave it like that. Okay, you can leave that because it will automatically upload uh, the WordPress uh, media to uh, as our featured image right there. So the title, we can just grab the uh, keyword itself for the title right there, and that's it. Okay, you, uh, that's all the setup you need to upload the media right there. So click OK. And then uh, second to the final step is we will actually post, uh, create a post again on our WordPress, uh, click WordPress and select this create a post. Okay, now again, the fun part, we will be mapping uh, the fields here. So the title, of course, will be our keyword, which is right here. So this keyword content is the markdown result right here. So we will select the markdown result, which is this one, HTML. Okay, now type should be post, excerpt, you can leave it blank, the date, you can leave it blank, the status, you can publish that. Okay, and now uh, format, again, you can leave it blank. and uh, categories let, let leave it blank and this is the important one featured image media id so you can grab it from here wordpress create media item so we'll expand that and this one media item id right there and click ok 
Okay, and the last step is, of course, since we generate this first keyword right here, we need to remove that from the list, which we will do in the last step right here. Again, create, uh, select this Google Sheet module, and here we will uh, select the, we will search the delete a row. So same thing what we did in the previous video, we just need to delete row number one. Okay, that's it, row number one. And of course, you have to select your uh, sh um, spreadsheet, which is this Cape Town keywords right there. Sheet ID, of course, sheet number one. That's it. That's all the uh, steps we we will need in order for us to generate the articles end to end. And in order for you to automate this, uh, like you don't have to come back, like for example, for another one month, this workflow will just run continuously. You can add like maybe 2,000, 1,000 keywords right here. And the integration part, you can schedule this like for example, once a day or twice twice a day. You post twice a day or twice a day. It depends on your, you know, preference. So now let's test this if it's going to run end to end. Okay. So once it is successful, it should be posted on our WordPress. And this first keyword right here, is it expensive in Cape Town will be removed so that uh, the next keyword will be uh, up next to be generated. Okay. Now let's run that. So guys, as you can see, it, gener it successfully generated an image, it successfully generated, created the post, and it created the media item right here. We can see, so that's the uh, uh, the image that we have created. So it's got the media item ID, which should be mapped here in the create post. So let's check, check the result. So yeah, it created, the, it mapped the media ID right there. And it should delete that uh, first keyword now because we successfully generated the article. Okay, that deleted that. Is it expensive in Cape Town? So that was the keyword as you can see right here. So that's the keyword that we generated. Is it expensive in Cape Town? So since that's done, so it automatically deleted that keyword right there. And we go to our WordPress right here. We click post and yeah, it got posted. So let's see the article right here. Wow, that's the image right there. It's a beautiful uh, image. And this is the uh, instruction that uh, we gave in our article. So let's see, because we we told the uh, prompt to provide us 2,500 words. So let's see. Uh, count the words right here, word counter. So we uh, just copy and maybe let's post it to a word counter. So here, let's paste the article. It has 856 words, which is uh, decent, but uh, you know, that's the, uh, just okay, but uh, that's not what we requested. Uh, that's the only uh, issue I can see if we generate article directly from OpenAI. So it doesn't follow the number of articles that we said on our prompt, uh, but still, uh, you know, we made the uh, workflow successful. Uh, I think 856 keyword uh, is a decent number of words, but if you want to route better, uh, you must have at least 2000 keywords from what I can say. That's the difference of, you know, using X uh, directly this article AI generator, which I showed in my uh, video just, I think, uh, just two days ago or yesterday. Uh, so it, uh, because here in article AI generator, we can directly generate 2,500 keywords or 3,500 keywords in just a single uh, uh, setup. Okay, so I am going to show you the setup that we made yesterday. So this was that simple integration that, uh, you know, we created using uh, uh, directly the article AI generator service, which you can find all the uh, description, the details from here uh, in the app key menu. So you can access that. If you still want to use your own HPI key, we have this, uh, you know, article AI generator using own HPI key. So just check in the description below uh, the details. And here you can just, uh, put your open AI key and then set the default writer to 3.5 or, you know, 4.0, set your cloud API key. So yeah, and so uh, select the de default writer of your cloud model. And of course the humanize uh, API key and the stability API key as well. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, the convenient part we can do when you use directly the article AI generator, okay? But you can, uh, you know, uh, that setup that we did was also fine. Although, you know, 856 words, which is okay for me. Um, but of course, again, uh, one of the factor to run on Google is, uh, you know, a decent number of words, which is, I think, 1,500 to 2,000 plus, okay? And that's what uh, the difference of article AI generator, okay? So as you can... So let's run once uh, this setup uh, using the article AI generator service. So it should get this second, uh, this next keyword right here. Now, okay, let's do that. 
So here, as you can see, it's successfully run end to end. So the keyword that uh, we gathered here is the what language do they speak in Cape Town? So it should now be deleted from the keyword list. Yep, that's deleted. So yeah, the next keyword will be what is the most famous thing in Cape Town? Now let's see how the appearance of uh, the post. Okay, if we get the number 2,500 words, so this is the Hablad post. Let's open that. And that's the image right there. And yeah, this is the our long form article, which you know, uh, you know, uh, as you can see, it definitely has 2000 plus words. So that's the only difference of directly using article AI generator service integrating to make that come compared to having that uh, open AI, which is also okay. It's it have it. Uh, it's up to you guys which one you prefer. But if you want to save your time and if you want a longer version, uh, long form article, then maybe uh, the choice for you is the article AI generator uh, service. So as you can see, it's got a very long and, you know, properly structured article right there. So yeah, the, the complete instruction of this integration, the workflow is in the description below if you want to uh, follow that. So again, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you guys get some value out of this video. And if you do, please leave, leave a like and share it to your friends uh, if you know anyone who will need the setup. Okay, thank you and I'll see you on the next one.